think today, 1st of July, is a, is a landmark day mm -hmm. for the travel, retail and duty-free industry worldwide. What the, the new policy in Hainan is tremendously positive news for the travel retail industry globally. I think it's the most far-sighted government policy in the world. Uh, and because of the uh, very favorable and positive government policies uh, towards the duty-free industry, you know, the increased allowance, tremendous repercussions for fashion, for accessories, for jewelry, for watches. It's a big, big boost, very beneficial for brands, very beneficial for uh, retailers, very beneficial for consumers. So I think China and Hainan in particular are leading the way uh, for the global travel retail industry. I visited uh, CDF Mall mm -hmm. in Haitang Bay. Uh, it's an extraordinary store, one of the greatest retail stores in the world. It has the support of many, many great brands. So I'm very, very impressed by what's been achieved in Haitang Bay. And I'm looking forward to seeing the spectacular new store in uh, Haiku. Hainan Free Trade Port is one of the most ambitious development projects that one can see anywhere in the world in terms of the way it will drive and stimulate uh, the local economy. It will attract enormous outside investment from world-class companies across many sectors of business, their investment options. So I think the way that the Free Trade Port is being structured it's very far-sighted, it's very long-term, and it's very business-friendly. And I'm, I'm convinced there's going to be enormous international interest in investing in the free trade port.